NGL, NGL, not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I am so impressed by what I'm about to show you on this episode. Okay. If you like viral publicity stunts that can be done for free where you don't even actually need a working product and you can have a huge long tail positive search engine optimization effect for free. If you like that, if that sounds good to you, then this episode, this episode of The Edward Show is for you. Episode what? 250 of The Edward Show. This one is for you, if, if that sounds good. Really, stories like this, what I'm about to share, they just inspire me so much. When I saw this, I was like, darn, I want to do this. And I really do. Sounds so good. Okay. Before I tell you what it is, I want to give you just a little bit of SEO background, a little bit of search engine optimization background. You just need to understand the concept of domain authority. If you're a frequent listener of the show, you understand that. If you're not and you don't know anything about SEO, you might not understand it. Let me just quickly give that to you. Domain authority is a search engine ranking score that predicts how likely a website is to rank in the search engine results pages. Domain authority scores range from 1 to 100 with higher scores corresponding to a greater likelihood of ranking. And the way that you increase your domain authority is you have websites linking to your site. And the higher authority the website that links to your site is, the more that increases your score. And you want to get as many of those links that you, as you can. Those are called backlinks. And an easy way to get these backlinks, just think of the most viral ideas possible. Have a landing page for these ideas on your website. You don't even need to pull off the idea as well. The ideas don't even need to work half of the time. They just need to sound crazy. And you just need to say you're doing them and put up a convincing landing page. And then you can get backlinks from some of the highest authority websites. You can get links from some of the highest authority sites. And that will boost your domain authority and make your likelihood of ranking on search engines really high. These are called linkable assets. It's great if these work as well, like, but they don't have to. But these are called linkable assets. There's tons of different ways to do them. It, it could work and just get you links ongoing. It could just be a publicity stunt, get you a lot of attention and a lot of links, but it's a short period. And this one that I'm about to share, this one seems like it's more of a publicity stunt. If you want to hear more about linkable assets, I recorded an entire episode about it. Episode 216 of this show. That's my linkable asset episode. Okay, let's talk about SCORE. SCORE by Neon Money Club. This is brilliant. Okay, this is what SCORE is. I'm going to read the description. And this came out, I guess, a month ago on Valentine's Day. There is a new dating app just in time for Valentine's Day. But there's a catch. You must have at least a 675 credit score to use it. Launched today by financial platform Neon Money Club, Score is a dating app for people with good to excellent credit. And it seeks to help raise awareness about the importance of finances in relationships. So they have a landing page for it where you can test your credit and then use the app. I haven't done any of that. I just looked at the landing page and actually the landing page is what's behind me right now. And then they have a really sick Spotify playlist, which I've been listening to. It is a good playlist. They just have a button under the see if you qualify. It just says get the slow jams. And it's a really good Spotify playlist. And this idea, this app is going viral. Now what you're seeing behind me is all of the press mentions that they are getting. Crazy press mentions, crazy backlinks from super high authority publications. So let me tell you a bit about Neon Money Club because I did like some research into its SEO. Neon Money Club has 29 out of 100 domain authority and it's in a very competitive space. So 29 out of 100 in this super competitive space is not actually that great. So in order to boost it, they need to do big things like this. They need to do these publicity stunts. But what's crazy about what they've done and they've done multiple publicity stunts like this. What's crazy about about these stunts is that when they get them in, in when you get a backlink, you want to have good language related to your niche associated with the website that is link that is that is linking to you. So Neon Money Club is getting these links from these high authority websites that are saying Neon Money Club is about finances, responsible finances, credit, all these very competitive terms, keywords, phrases, and topics. And Neon Money Club is getting these super authoritative links with the language that they want. And that's really going to help them. Now, if you look at score, it says it's only available for a limited time, which further leads me to believe this is really just a publicity stunt. Like I said, if you do something like this, it doesn't even need to work well. 
you can literally just have an email capture and an infinite wait list. And then in a few months, you can redirect the landing page to anything relevant on your website and just say the product is over, but you still go get those links. It's called a 301 redirect. It passes the SEO link juice, the SEO backlink juice. You can do that. And this, by the way, this is not black hat. This is not gray hat. It's totally white hat. Publicity stunts are totally white hat, assuming they're legal, of course. And white hat means it is not against the rules. And okay, in distribution, oh, I had some crazy ideas. So the obvious, like, how do you get awareness to your viral app, to your viral idea? If it's, if it's an app, especially, like, how do you, like, score? How could they get awareness for this if they don't have an existing network? My guess is they have an existing network. But if they didn't have an existing network, how could they get awareness? Launch on beta list, launch on product time. I literally recorded an episode on a boat cafe, a crowded boat cafe yesterday, talking about exactly this. I think it's one of my best episodes. I hope you will listen to it. It's a really good one. You can launch on beta list. You can launch on product hunt. But I had a, this crazy idea. TikTok is really good for testing different hooks and testing different ideas, testing ideas that can go viral and ideas that won't go viral. You can start a TikTok called surprising apps or weird apps or something similar. And then keep, okay, here's what you do. Just keep putting up landing pages on your website, buy domains that sound cool, and then 301 redirect those domains to the landing pages on your website, and then keep testing different hooks and taglines for different ideas for apps that you think could go viral on TikTok. I actually think after this, I'm going to make a TikTok about Score by Neon Money Club and how this is great for SEO and just how this is a great publicity stunt. Because I actually, I think the hook for score is interesting enough that it will go viral. This new dating app requires you to have a high credit score to use. And people who don't have high credit scores can't use it. It's going super viral. Like that's my introduction. And so you could do things like that. You could test different hooks like that. And if a video does well, you could also run with that, build out the stunt more, put more work into that stunt. You could even turn it into a full-fledged app if you want. But that would also be enough to just get you links. TikTok is so good for that, for making things go viral. So there's how you do distribution. Beta list, product hunt, and TikTok. If you want, I think TikTok is so good for something like this. Now I want to give you my quick breakdown on score. I looked at Neon Money Club's SEO, and my conclusion is they don't know what they're doing. They rank for lots of different keywords. It is not intentional. I didn't see any landing pages sp specifically targeting keywords. So I don't think they actually know what they're doing with SEO. I think score was entirely a publicity stunt and they don't even realize the SEO potential that it has. I don't think they realize what they did with score in terms of boosting their domain authority so they could rank for these impressive terms in the personal finance space. But it looks like they're really good of thinking of these viral stunts. So my conclusion about them is they think the win is in the press coverage that they get. They think the press coverage that they get is going to bring them all these new users. And sure, it'll bring them new users, but they don't realize that the real win isn't in the, in the short term. It's, it's not in the, in the beginning. The real win is in the long tail of SEO benefits that they get. That's the real win. And they don't realize that. That's my conclusion about them. And that's the case with a lot of people who are good at thinking of viral stunts. They don't realize the SEO benefits that they have. Now, if you're somebody like this and you can think of crazy viral ideas, just read my resources on search engine optimization. I'm actually putting it in the background now. If you just go to my articles page, edwardsturm.com forward slash articles, and you click on the SEO button, you will see all the articles that I wrote about SEO. And I write a lot about SEO because I care about it a lot. I love it. It's my favorite channel, my favorite marketing channel. And if you can think of these viral ideas and you're so good at them, you can get backlinks like crazy. You can build up a very authoritative website and you can use that to rank for very lucrative purchase intent terms where people have their money in hand and they are ready to make purchases. You can do that for affiliate products where you get an ongoing cut or you can create your own products and do that. So this is my episode about Score by Neon Money Club. I just think this is such a brilliant idea what they've done. I, I, I really like stunts like this. They did, probably did it for free. You can do this for free. They have the existing credit checking software, I'm sure. So I, they could have just put up this landing page, made this for free. Anybody could do stuff like this. And that's why I'm so inspired by it. This is episode 250 of my daily growth hack and growth marketing podcast, The Edward Show. And if you haven't listened to yesterday's episode, it's about how to launch a new software as a service product. It's directly related to this one. And like I said, I recorded it on a crowded boat cafe. It was so much fun. 
Hope you'll give it a hope you'll give it a listen. Hope you'll give it a watch. Thank you so much for being here with me. I will talk to you again tomorrow. Bye now.